Yo, what up guys, how's it going? Kermode here. Welcome to the next video in my beginner Ableton course. This video is gonna be all about session view and arrangement view, how they interact together, and how to just kind of get sounds going and start testing out these ideas. Now, before we get started, if you guys haven't downloaded my free beginner Ableton sample pack, this is a sample pack to get you started with all the essentials you need to start writing music. But without further ado, let's just get into it. So let's just take a quick recap on what arrangement view and session view even are. Arrangement view right here is where you're going to hear musical ideas from left to right. So I'm going to drag in a clip from my browser window and you'll see this idea appears on a timeline from left to right. This is a chronological timeline that you can navigate by clicking up top here. See how this turned into a little magnifying glass? You click and drag to zoom in and out and then you click and drag clips to move them left and right. So I'm going to bring this to the beginning of my timeline. You can see with this number, that's bar number one. And it's two bars long because it goes to bar number three. I'll hit play. And that idea exists there. Let's grab a different clip. Maybe this guitar. I'll click and drag it onto a different track, which I can expand with this little arrow here. And you'll see that this brought on different MIDI with a guitar instrument. Now what I want to do is I want to extend this clip and by heading to the clip view with a loop on here, this is going to be a really important button, this clip will loop so that when I expand it, it's actually looping. And you can see that with this little line right here, that little tiny black line. See it? There we go. So that means this is looping and I can drag it on infinitely because it loops. And what will actually happen? So all of this is existing in our arrangement view from left to right. It starts on the left ends on the right. You can click any point in the arrangement view to play from there. You can see that blue line. Or alternatively, click on this little window up here, right below the magnifying glass, to start from that point. Don't forget, spacebar also stops and uh, starts this. So that's kind of going on here in our arrangement view. Now on the right of the arrangement view, you also have what's known as the mixer. This is where you're gonna have things like solo, panning, and volume for a track. We're gonna go into more detail on that later, but I'm just gonna turn down this track to start as well, which you can do right here. And so the more tracks I bring in, the more this is gonna layer vertically while listening horizontally. So let's find something else to add in. Maybe I want that tom fill right here. And I'm just going to use the tail end of it. I'm going to expand our clip and just grab that. Let's make it a little quieter. And let's hit play. What's really handy as well, if you highlight by clicking and dragging a certain amount of time in the arrangement view, you can hit Command L or this button here to loop it. So we're going to loop that. Awesome. I'm happy with that. Now I'm actually going to delete these real quick because I want to take a look now at session view. Session view, the, cl the tracks are actually horizontal from left to right, and the clips stack vertically. So I'm going to take that tom fill idea, I'm going to put it on our tom fill track. I'm going to find another one, a different clip idea. I'm going to drag that onto this track here. So you see we have two different musical ideas. I'm 
I'm actually going to delete these tracks here. I'm going to find some new clips. I like those drums. I'm going to drag it onto an empty space. It'll create a new track. Now these are actually playing at the same time. You have this clip and this one playing together. At any point, I can stop them by pressing these little squares here. Let's find a musical idea to include. Now, I've been grabbing clips this whole time. For a musical idea, I'm going to grab an audio sample at this point. So I'm actually going to go into my cinematic samples. I'm going to grab uh, some guitar from the Infinity House Pack, so I'll open it up. I'll grab some instrument loops. I'll grab that guitar there and drag it on. Now, audio works a little differently. Audio, unlike these MIDI clips where you can edit the notes and edit their timing, audio is just piece of audio, a recorded piece of audio, like if you recorded a singer. So it plays through normally. And unfortunately, by default, it actually stops. And what you need to do to prevent that is turn on this warp button here and loop. So now this will become a loop. going to want to trigger these drums too to play along with it. Let's get this tom fill going. Stop it. So all these clips are playing but nothing is going on on this arrangement view here. So what I could do is by clicking and holding one of these and pressing tab, I can drag it on to my arrangement view here. So my guitar will be placed here. My drums will come in here. I'll press command D to duplicate the guitar along or because it's looping I could stretch it out and then right at the end I'm gonna have a tom fill perfect then I would decide how I'd want to arrange the track now at this point if I pressed play on the arrangement view we're not hearing anything notice how I'm pressing play this is moving and we're not hearing anything the reason for this is the session view actually takes priority over the arrangement view because Ableton encourages you to test out ideas. So right now, because none of these are playing but they were, this view, you can notice it's all grayed out. And Ableton grays out a track the second you trigger an idea here. So that way you can test out ideas. To undo that, you hit these little gray arrows or the orange one up top, which will do all of it. Now, the arrangement view is what is dominating. So our song's playing left to right. Bring the tom fill in. Now, again, the reason session view takes dominance is let's say I had a different guitar loop and I wanted that one I wanted to test it out I wanted to see what it would look sound like so first let's warp it and let's loop it so now this idea will loop and what's gonna happen and we'll check this out I'll start playing this and right at this uh, point right here I'm gonna trigger in session view the other loop actually I'll even trigger it right here See how it grayed this out? Because session view has taken dominance. Let's trigger this tom. This is gray too. Be 
because it wants you to test out ideas. That way you can kind of see what might work in a section and at any point you can go back to what you had so you didn't actually override it. Now if you did want to override it and you actually wanted a clip to take precedence over another clip, then what you want to do is you hit record up top this record button here. This is the arrangement record button. And what this will do is record ideas from session view into arrangement. Now there's one other thing I want you guys to know about before I hit record. And that is a term known as quantization. And quantization is the ability to trigger something in time. Notice how when I trigger this guitar clip, it lands perfectly in time. Check it out. I'll add a metronome here. Notice how even though I pressed play early, it triggered in time. That may have, you may have missed that. Really pay attention to when I hit play, but then when the actual sound comes. So that's because of quantization. And you want that set up before you record so your things can be in time or trigger in time. And that's set up next to the metronome that I turned on. Hear that metronome? That's set up next to that with this drop down menu here. This drop down menu allows you to have no quantization, which means things will just trigger when you trigger it. So if we go back to arrangement view here, watch what happens now. Totally out of time. So you can pick a value that's appropriate for you. I like a bar because I want things to be pretty on point, pretty, pretty musically in time. And now when I hit record, it'll do so perfectly in time. Check this out. Notice the clip is overriding the old one. Now watch what happens when I trigger the old one. These are being recorded in. Perfect, and back to arrangement. And now this is our arrangement. So that's what's so cool is you can kind of play the arrangement of your song like an instrument in session view you trigger it kind of like a game of chess thinking ahead what's going to come next testing out ideas and then when you have one that you like you can record it into arrangement view right here so that's why your tracks correlate between these two views because they are the same tracks and they house the same instruments but then you can have different clips here that may not even make the final arrangement that you then record into a final arrangement here. Now, you don't have to always use Session View to make a song. It's up to you. I personally actually write most of my songs completely in arrangement because I just, I know how I want a song to structure or be structured, but you have that option. That's what's so cool about Ableton. So as you drag in ideas, they will become parts of clips. Audio tracks will ho house audio clips and MIDI tracks, which are musical ideas, will hold MIDI tracks. You can't have both, to be clear. If I drag an audio clip onto a MIDI track, it will actually convert it into MIDI by some algorithm in Ableton. It'll try and convert it into MIDI. So just be clear on that as well. Just be aware of that. that you can't have both. In MIDI, try and drag it on audio, you get a little X. It's not going to work. So just be aware of that. We're going to go into more detail on how MIDI works, how to program MIDI, how to write MIDI in a different video. But those are the two different views. Again, you toggle with tab. You can bring clips over with tab or, and you'll notice that converted that because that was audio, my bad. Drag that onto the right track. Be aware, track three 
track three. Or alternatively, hit the arrangement record button here. There's a different record button we'll learn about in a different video, but this one here will record it into that view. We also learned about turning on the metronome to hear a click, as well as quantize so things trigger on time. And from previous videos, we know about the stop buttons to stop clips or the master stop button here. And then there's also the back to arrangement view here. If you're hearing session view, which we are now, we're listening to this view. But if we want to go back to arrangement, you click that there. So that is the basic comparison between session view and arrangement view and how you get ideas from one to another and what the overall differences are. So I hope you got a lot out of this video. My name's Kermodi. If you haven't already downloaded my beginner Ableton starter pack to get you with all the essentials you need to write music, make sure to grab that. And I hope I see you guys in another video where we're going to be continuing this Ableton course. You're going to be learning Ableton. Let me know in the comments if you like it too. Maybe leave it a like, maybe share it around if you're liking this course so far, because I really want to keep doing courses like this in the future. So thanks again, guys. My name's Kermodi. Peace.